Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this tutorial video is going to show you how grips work. Now you've probably seen grips before. That's these little blue squares that show up whenever you select something and you're not in the middle of a command. You press escape and they go away. And if you select a single object you'll see that there's some grips or you can select a whole area and pretty much your grips are going to appear wherever an O-snap would. For example, a circle here has four quadrants and a center point. Text has an insertion point. A rectangle has endpoints and midpoints. So it's pretty straightforward. An arc has uh, a center point, midpoint, and two endpoints. But the great thing about grips is that you can use them to quickly edit something. Now if I want to change the size of this circle, for example, I could use the scale command or I can just use a grip and pull it. And I can make it smaller, bigger, I can uh, enter in a specific amount and undo that. So pretty much you can just grab a grip and stretch something but if I grab the center grip I'll move it because I'm just stretching the center point which is not really geometry it's more just a uh, reference point now if I grab a whole bunch of things I can grab this one and stretch or I can move them all at once by hitting my space bar and now they've all moved. And what the space bar does is it cycles through some commands and you'll see right here stretch and you'll see it's not really a stretch command that you'd see at the command line normally and this is where I hit the space bar and, it, and then it changed into the move command. So if I take a grip and select something you see right away it's changed to stretch now as I go through the space bar it'll go to move rotate scale and mirror and back to stretch so if I go twice on the space bar now I can rotate it and you see how my icon has changed and I'm just going to escape out of that and that's the beauty of grips. You can very quickly get things done uh, without even entering a command. So if I want to move both of these, I can just select a grip, hit my spacebar to move, and it's moved over there and move it back. So they're very quick, they're very handy. A lot of times you might have, say, two lines and let's say for a second that one of them's not joined up. But I can just stretch and move this endpoint line to the O snap, and now they're joined up. And that can be faster than a fillet command, even. So they're very powerful, they're very easy to use. And uh, basically, a grip, once it's uh, an item selected, you can see that as I hover over it it's gone to kind of a pinkish orange look and as I select it it's gone to a red color so if I uh, want to change the look of this I'm going to type in DD grips and it's going to open up a dialog box for me right here that'll give me some control over the grips and how they appear and this is all part of your options uh, dialog box under selection so I can change the grip colors unselected hover and selected contour color and when you want to change that is say you've got a drawing that has a lot of those colors in it you may find it hard to find your grips quickly and easily but I've usually been happy with just the uh, default colors now you can change the grip size so if I apply this and hit OK you can see all of a sudden the grips 
are a lot bigger and personally I'd find that a little uh, bit uh, in the way so I'm gonna make them smaller some people like them really small so they're out of the way but once again I'm pretty happy with the defaults and the one thing you may want to turn on or off is showing grips within blocks but uh, and show grips you can just turn them all off if you want generally I'm gonna want them on every chance I get so if you need to change anything you shouldn't have to just go under the selection tab of your options dialog box okay with that closed I'm just gonna switch over and look at some 3D grips now as we saw in a regular 2D rectangle I can just select hit the spacebar and move spacebar twice and rotate but if I try that with a solid object now here's something complex and you can see it just has one grip for the whole block that's because I've used the union and subtract commands same with this item here now this one is a box and I've got 3D grips now and one thing that's different is that the spacebar does not cycle through the various options so in 3D objects your grips are pretty much just going to be stretching the geometry of the objects same with the cylinder I can just easily change the diameter or the height so there's a little bit of a difference there now I'm just going to go back to the other drawing and I'm going to look at one other thing I cover in this tutorial and that's the divide command now let's say I've got this storage area here and it's all part of this floor plan and I want to divide it into three equal storage areas so what I can do is just type in div for divide select my object and the number of segments I want is three and you'll see that this line is still just a line but what it's done is added two points and I'm just gonna go in and show something first type in PD point type and by default your points look like this just a single dot which makes it really hard to see them but if I highlight everything you can see that okay I've got a point a point midpoint end points so as a rule if you start using the divide command and start using points you want to change to something that's easy to see and I recommend this one because it's got the circle it's very quick and easy to see you can set it to 5% relative to your screen which I find uh, is really handy because that way you know if I zoom out and then redraw the screen I can see where my points are now if you have a lot of points and nodes in your drawing you may want to change that to something a little different which is just a set size in absolute units and so now if I zoom out and refresh they stay the same size so anyway now that I've got this all I need to do is just draw a line but as you can see I'm not snapping to my node so I'm gonna type in OS for O snap and turn on my node O snap so now when I draw a line I can go right from my node to here and to here and then erase and now I've got my three storage units that are all exactly the same size so that's how nodes work the divide command and uh, a quick overview of grips and I recommend getting used to using grips because they're a huge huge time saver um, even with something like your uh, dimensions you may find your dimensions get a bit off maybe you click to the wrong point you can just bring it back in 
and uh, away you go rather than redraw the dimension so anyway this has been my CAD site dot com this was tutorial 4-5 uh, check it out check out the whole website for a full complete AutoCAD course it'll take you from the basics up to 3D rendering and all kinds of great stuff thanks for watching